one other thoughts that we are trying to bring up here in the discussion is, is it really a marriage or a divorce? Because is it really comparing the radio embolization against sorafenib, or is it the chemobolization against sorafenib, or is it really trying to combine therapies? And I'll ask Riyadh here, because there has been quite a bit of efforts in regard to the combination of the uh, chemobolization plus systemic therapy. Thoughts on that concept, concept especially from the uh, ones that we heard about, which is chemobolization plus sorafenib. Yeah, so look, there's, there's no doubt that uh, given sort of the, the the migration of how patients flow from stage to stage in reality that, that the best results we're going to get are combination. In fact, all patients get combination treatments. It depends on whether it happens at the same time or, or in, a, uh, in a sequential fashion. So the space trial, as an example, was drug-eluting beads, uh, uh, plus or minus serafinib, and uh, there was a very minor improvement in time to progression, nothing clinically significant. And there's also the tactics clinical trial uh, by the Japanese that used time to untreatable progression as an endpoint to see whether uh, the addition of serafinib uh, was beneficial. Um, neither of those studies was able to show an overall survival endpoint. The problem, of course, with overall survival, as you know better than I, is post-treatment progression. Every study now is going to be confounded by post-treatment progression. And that endpoint is going to be more and more challenging. And in fact, one of the challenges that, that I've observed in my career treating BCLCAs uh, and Bs. So right now, uh, it's a nice proof of concept. Um, if we are able to sort of treat people fewer number of times by adding serafinib, that would be beneficial. Uh, I think the tactics trial is interesting. I think so there's some di discussion as to what TTUP actually means and whether that's actually uh, something that is objective and can be reproduced. Uh, so we continue to study that. Obviously, other combinations we'll discuss later on are very, very interesting. But uh, for personally, I think obviously combo studies are very, very uh, attractive because that's effectively what patients are going to get. Uh, we just have to figure out the optimal timing. Fair enough. And as we heard, there have been genuine efforts in regard to the combination with the serafinib. But let's ask Peter, what about checkpoint inhibitors plus states? This is then opening the door again. I yeah. think after space and um, after particularly TASTE 2, which was a very nice and well-controlled trial, we learned that the added toxicity is in the end probably um, uh, not able to be compensated by a survival benefit. So we, 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 are, we are stuck and toxicity is the issue. In um, checkpoint inhibitors, we have the beauty that there are very severe side effects in some patients, but for the most part, they are very well tolerated. So, um, and then the um, additional aspect, at least in theory, is that the um, combination with a destructive um, measurement where you probably increase the load of uh, tumor antigens, which are presented to the immune system, in combination with IOs, is an a nice combination. So that's very promising. There are very uh, many uh, limitations which are complex. Any sort of um, addition will uh, not only be a treatment of a tumor, but as we know that there is also the problem of c the cancer-prone field where the uh, cirrhotic liver produces new tumors. There's also something to be taken care of by a treatment. Is IO doing that job? We don't know. So many open questions, but an interesting potential combination.